Well, for this session, <clears throat> I'll now play a collection of hymns that relate to Easter and the Lent, the period that precedes it with adversity, and Jesus' sermons, and what led up eventually to his crucifixion, when some thought he just wasn't the person they expected and was not going to overthrow the Romans by force, but instead tried to preach love between all people, which is why some didn't look at him as the Messiah, and he paid the price for it. But this will, but we'll start out different hymns, but, but we're going to start with those that relate to Lent, including the God of Abraham Praise, an old Hebrew tune hymn that sort of reflects earlier times, and it's got this Leone Hebrew tune going back to Old Testament and gradually a sense of continuity toward Lent. I'll play a couple of verses. Reflecting Jesus' time with all his sermons on the mount and other th preaching and preaching love between people regardless of affiliation and, and he never held malice it appears to those that even might disagree with his ideas he felt it was just the right thing to preach and respect people of all even if some didn't feel the same way toward him they all play, what a friend we have in Jesus now, a common hymn that can reflect the spirit, even during Lent and all the way up to Palm Sunday. play another tune that sort of spirit of triumph even during Lent, the hail the power of Jesus' name.
little more serious hymn in respect to a minor key, Deep, Deep Love of Jesus, but it was a bit of deep love, but yet deep despising, or if he was blasphemy me on the other side, but it all emphasized the deep love of Jesus in this hymn, which I also learned <clears throat> from hearing it in our Vespers before this pandemic, with Charles Mallory playing it, one of the outside people that sometimes plays here in the non-pandemic times. <clears throat> but anyway, this is deep love. As we know, as time approached, he eventually entered Jerusalem on Palm Sunday, and events led up to the Thursday night, and he was supposedly betrayed by Judas, and had the Last Supper, and then, and then to the Garden of Gethsemane, they arrested Jesus, the many of the Jews and the other Pharisees and many of those that did not like his preaching and felt he was not the Messiah because he would not go and violently overthrow the Romans. He was preaching peace between all and so he was not looked at that way. So now these next hymns I'll be playing for a little bit will reflect the cross when after the trial with a lot of questionable technicalities that I learned from the late Doran Eskew, a lawyer at a church I used to go to years ago, who told about many of the illegalities, and Pontius Pilate was not really that eager to crucify him over the Romans, at least it's believed, even though I've heard different things, but nevertheless, the pressure said for people to crucify him, the pressures from the Jews and others that felt he was not really the true Messiah, that they were looking for, he finally took him over and then with the stations of the cross, Jesus trudged carrying his cross to the hill, probably at Calvary, and this took place probably about 30 AD, it's believed, maybe early April is what some say. Well, I'm not be exactly sure of the date, but that's pretty much about the closest we could get to it. But here, we'll start with, when I s surveyed the, well, wondrous cross. <laughs>
know, now they shall play at Calvary in this believed to be maybe the area in a hill where the cross was taken and Christ was nailed and risen there at about around 10 or so in the morning that Good Friday but, but most likely according to Catholic Church and a few others in, in a Friday in April 30 AD sung in many churches in today the old rugged cross reflecting the time of the crucifixion were you there reflect the moment this hymn I actually learned back in ninth grade in at the beginning of high school in that ninth grade music class in the fall of 962 but I also learned about certain other songs of other subjects including falling leaves and eventually the over the rainbow which I played in other ones but this same one I learned about were you there when they crucified my Lord now I'll play this.
after being buried on Sunday, a surprise came, and we'll never know the nature of the surprise, and we can you know, only just interpret what they confirmed, but the apostles and Mary Magdalene found his grave was empty, and somehow spiritually, at least whatever they found, we'll never know exactly, but suddenly it changed everything because the spirit of Christ was alive so all of a sudden, and after they'd given up on the Saturday, and then, boom, it somehow they just felt a new enthusiasm, and they went out and preached the gospel in the days afterward, even to the time he supposedly ascended formally into heaven, as they put it. Nobody knows exactly whether it was a supernatural event or what, but they were suddenly expire, expire, inspired, and they really went for it, and in fact, of the apostles, only one, John, I think, survived to a natural death. All the rest got martyred one way or the other in the coming decades following Christ's passing and resurrection in 30 AD. But, but something did happen because they weren't, they seemed to have all given up and then all of a sudden just got inspiration that still lasts to this day. So even if you're another religion, you still have to realize Anybody still has to realize this is still a historically watershed event. I'm going to play Christ the Lord is Risen now. This is used for this. with many crowns and is reflecting this and maybe victory in Jesus and then we'll finish with Jesus paid it all and here's crown with many crowns <laughs> victory in Jesus. So in a way, Jesus, though he's crucified, his resurrection and a victory, and it's used in different contexts in this hymn, but I think this is well suited.
the trial? He just showed, and, and it's all because he paid it all. And I've been inspired by this hymn. I even learned back in a church in the old Allendale Baptist Church more than 40 to 45 years ago. And I like this tune. And although, and Christ is supposed to, have, even though if I didn't agree with some of the strict theology beliefs of that church, the opposite extreme I saw in another church years later on the left. This one is more on the right, but nevertheless, it's still right because Christ did die for sins, as at least as most churches, even the moderate ones, agree. And he did say you do not have to sacrifice animals or anything like that or make self destructive sacrifices necessarily, but you could believe because he took the pain for all of us. And that's what this reflects and this is why we have Easter as it is as the way that supernatural event that can never be fully scientifically explained and because he paid it all. <laughs> God bless everybody and the message of Jesus, even if religious may not all support it, not all other religions may necessarily agree, but he still has an important milestone that still lives, is reflected even today. <laughs>